what's going on guys ever since I got that new NBA contract it seems like I I can take chances now you know I mean I got the money I can repair cars if I damage them so why not jump off a freaking ramp and be a beast like that so San Antonio Spurs are are is my first matchup ever as an NBA player so it'll definitely definitely be a tough matchup honestly because I do have to go against Tony Parker who's a pretty good pretty good player I, I believe he's out of France I'm not totally sure but anyways look at the lineup here Brandon Jennings Monte Ellis Monte Ellis the pickup the the Milwaukee Bucks traded I believe they traded Andrew Bogut for him so I don't know they're not gonna have a very good they're they're not gonna have a very good set of big men honestly but hopefully Sorry about that, it's like really late, but hopefully I can cope with that, and I don't know, hopefully Drew Wooden can make up for the, you know, not, I mean, they really don't have any good big men. Ilyasova, not really a big, you know, dominant presence in the paint. He's more of like a mid-range guy, honestly. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this one started. I come into the game with three minutes left in the, in the third quarter. And, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going on Tony Parker, so I'm pretty confident I can own this this French dude. So let's go. Uh-oh, Cole McKinney. Nice little move here, getting him on his feet. But he would do nothing there. But uh-oh, uh-oh. Nice, nice dribble move there. Getting Drew Gooden open and Drew Gooden knocking it down, giving me the assist. And as I said, hopefully Drew Gooden can make up for the lack of big men on the Milwaukee Bucks. So, yeah, I mean, he, he, he kind of pulled pulled through for me in this game, honestly. But giving it to Monte Ellis for the assist. So I got two assists in this one already. Haven't scored my first bucket yet. And right here on Manu Ginobili, I knock it down for my first basket ever as an NBA player. Hopefully there's more of those to come. But up the court... You know what he's going to do. Take it to the hole on Tony Parker. Kind of using the cluster of men or teammates or whatever you want to say as kind of a pick there. So I come in with four minutes left in the third third quarter, second quarter. We're actually up by seven right now. So I'm very surprised, honestly. Then again, I mean, the San Antonio Spurs are not really the greatest team in the world when it comes to the regular season. They really show up in the playoffs, so I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they do that in NBA 2K where they, I mean, kind of lower their rating in the regular season and then when it comes to playoffs, they kind of like make their rating better. That'd be so realistic though if they did that. But they leave me open and I knock down my first three-pointer as a NBA player. And this is kind of, this episode 4 is kind of like, more of like my first videos, like the first things that I've done, you know, first NBA game, first basket, first assist, first three point shot, first layup, everything, and Monte Ellis, you know what he's got to do, get it down to Cole McKinney, he's not going to bite on that, on that, there, on that uh, pump fake, or shot fake, and I get it to Drew Gooden, as I said, coming through for me. So, Cole McKinney, 70-75, Spurs have regained the league. They came back from a 9-point deficit. So, uh-oh, step back jumper, being a noob. That's what I do basically in these first two games, is basically just keep doing step back jumpers because that's all I can do. Nice steal there. Give me that, boy. Give me that, give me that steal. Uh-oh, pump fake behind the back. You know what I'm going to do. Uh oh. Uh oh, come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. Ha. Heck no. And I knock down the jumper. So I have 13 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists in this one. Honestly, I wanted to get my field goal percentage up more. But I do get out of this one with 13 points, 3 assists, basically. So pretty good. 2,000 skill points. But stay tuned for the post game interviews. And I'll see you guys shortly after that. After tonight's game, you're now officially an NBA player. Were there any nerves for you stepping onto the court for the first time? Oh yeah, I, I think it's fair to say I was a little nervous. Uh, but I felt pretty good out there, you know? I've been talking to the guys and they've been really helpful getting me ready for this. It's definitely an important step for my career, but just the first of what I hope will be many more. Um, 
I got a long way to go, but it's nice to have a game like this under my belt right now. All right, so after my first game, the Jordan people say they have they have their eye on me, so I'm gonna try to speed read through this. There's a lot of hype surrounding your entrance into the league. Here at Jordan, we are inter interested in players that perform at the absolute highest level that will also represent the the brand integrity. I got my eye on you. I can tell you that much. If you can prove to me that you belong, you'll find that I can take your career to the next level. Uh oh. I don't know if you guys could understand me, but who cares? You guys can pause it and read it, and plus you probably have already gotten that letter millions of times because you play NBA 2K12 just like me. But we are playing the New York Knicks. I believe in my fourth game this was, I'm not too sure. But it was one of those games, one of those games right after the first game I played obviously. So you can see I'm still on the Milwaukee Bucks and Cole McKinney. Coming in the game, you see I actually have a little more, a little more minutes as I came in in the fifth minute of the fourth quarter. And Cole McKinney getting it done early. Fast break score. It's 5-8 Milwaukee. I'm on Jeremy Lin in this game, obviously, as you guys know. So hopefully I can keep him from driving in the paint because, as you guys know, when Jeremy Lin drives in the paint, it causes so many issues for other people. I get it down to Brandon Jennings, who, I mean, I hadn't really, you know, connected with really in game one that I showed you guys earlier, and Ilya, Ilya Solova with the nice pick, and I'm like, Psh, three, two, one, step back, jumper, knock it down over Jalen, come on, man, come on, Jalen, you gotta play better D than that, and it's 9-12, and I come in the, within like the eighth minute, actually, basically, basically in the beginning of the second quarter, because my my quarters are eight minutes long and don't ask me to do 12 minute quarters because I do not have time for 12 minute quarters quarters I mean that's like insane to me how people can do that like I don't know how you find the time to play 12 minute quarters because each game is insanely long so nice nice shot there really like the only bucket that I have made without doing a step back so pretty proud of that except the layup that I did in game one but fifth minute of the third quarter 43 39 Milwaukee down by four. Uh oh we're making a comeback Kennedy uh, McKinney not Kennedy McKinney uh oh let's work on Iman Shumpert I believe is that Iman Shumpert it might be Tony Douglas I don't know but knocking it down is my homeboy who I don't even know who that is right now so he gets the my teammate gets the assist for me give me that block son give me that block get it out of here LeBron James not really a Le, not really a LeBron James dunk but whatever uh oh driving inside getting it down to Larry Sanders I like I don't know why but it's so awkward talking about Larry Sanders because my former pastor was named Larry Sanders so I mean it's really weird like every time I say Larry Sanders I'm like wait some old some old white guy who's a pastor is in the NBA is in the NBA and then I look at it I look I could I compare both guys and I'm like holy crap Larry Sanders the pastor is way different than Larry Sanders the gangster NBA player so I don't know if he's gangster but I mean he has a whole bunch of tattoos you know he looks pretty he looks pretty bad a honestly or like I don't know pretty gangster but give me that block uh oh McKinney Get the layup to go. He has 10 points already. With the third quarter winding down, and they put me in the game. You know what? They're testing my clutchness. And I come in with 20 seconds left. I'm like, Psh, don't worry, guys. I got this. Even though I'm a rookie. Look at Brandon Jennings. He's like, give me the ball. Give me the ball. He's calling for the pass. 10 seconds left. I'm like, come on, Jalen. You can't do crap on me. You can't do crap. You already see it coming. Step back jumper. Show step back jumper but you still can't stop it pump fake shoot it knock it down with 0.3 seconds left practically a buzzer beater and that is a great way to end this game hopefully and usually I mean 2k releases are not very fast in this game so it's basically impossible to release a basketball shot unless you're Sean Marion and NBA 2k12 and they get it down to Melo I believe mm, no not Melo I don't know who they gave it to. He bricks it. And we win this game. The rookie responsible for the win 
for the Bucks over the Knicks. So pretty nice one there. I get 1,370 skill points, which I guess is okay. And all my objectives are completed, so very happy there. Yeah, woohoo! All three objectives completed, but here's the press conference. You have to be elated after hitting that shot to win the game. Where does this rank on the list of your biggest moments on the basketball court? Whew. Wow. Man, I still can't believe it. That's definitely one of the craziest and most intense moments I've had in my entire career, man. Any one of these guys could have hit the shot just as well, but tonight, it happened to be me. More than anything else, it was great to win the game, but to do it like that, whew, special, man. That was something I won't forget for a long, long time. The NBA, where amazing happens, baby. You feel me? I feel you, man. I feel you. All right, guys. So you see right there, McKinney talking to the press conference people, giving them what they want. And I'm like, Psh, I'm getting out of Milwaukee. Despite my success early, I really want to, you know, I want better big man, basically. And I go for the Hawks. I want to throw oops to Al Horford and Jace move. So why not? And then Magic. The Magic obviously have, a, have Dwight Howard, but... Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.